Hi, I'm Roscoe with the Skim Oil Company. We're here at the AEP Power Plant in Ohio. We're going to do a demo and explain to the guys how and why this drum skimmer works. AEP has chosen to get this skimmer to do first response work uh, for the Coast Guard to, to please the Coast Guard and the environmental people until the spill response guys get here. So before the Marines get here, the AEP guys are going to be able to do a first response. I'm going to show you how this works. This is the Steel Max floating drum skimmer. This particular one is air drive. This skimmer will remove 20 gallons of oil in one minute and give you very little water. It's small, it's portable, it's very effective. One man can wrestle around the skimmer by itself. We've got it standing on end here. The skimmer in operation is going to be sitting in the water much like this. The way it works is we're going to bring air power to the, the fitting here. That's going to provide air motion to turn the drums. The drums will be rotating in the water. When oil touches the drum, it coats the drum. The drum rotates around, gets scraped off here, and the oil flows into this sump where we pump it away. I'm going to show you the hookup on this. It's very simple stuff. We're using house air. You're going to need an air compressor or vac truck. You can run this off the vac truck air brakes. What we have here is house air. House air hook up here. That's the main. There are two valves on this on this operation. One is the oiler regulator. That is for the skimmer motor. The other is for the pump. It's marked on the skimmer here. So you can, you can not screw this one up. Two skimmer. Hooked up here, hooking up to the skimmer itself. In operation, this is an air motor. It's a vane motor. It has no torque at all. So it takes a lot of air to get the thing going. Often, to get it running, you need to give it all the air you can. Just to, enough to get it going off that dead center bit. You can see the drum rotating. It's covered with oil. Rotates around. Gets scraped off over here. Oil flows into the sump. Part two of the operation is going to be hooking the pump up. I'm shutting this down for a moment. The pump hookup. Here's our pump here. This is a two inch air operated diaphragm pump. The other airline being here, the red one, is for the pump. Uh, the air connection is here. The other end goes into this, which is conveniently marked to pump. Hard to screw this one up. The blue airline feeds the skimmer motor. The red airline is for the pump. Hook that up. The pump does not require an oiler. So, in operation, the skimmer is sitting in the water, it's filling up the sump. You have to hook a hose to the outlet here. So, this is supplied. This is a female camlock coupler. That would receive the male end of a hose. All of the hoses have a male and a female end. The other end of the hose, so now we're hooked up here to the skimmer, the suction end of the hose would connect to the inlet on the pump, the two inch inlet. And you can add as many or as few as you want sections of hose. The pump will far outstrip what the skimmer can do. This is a two inch pump that can pass two inch solids. So you can imagine this is almost able to pump tennis balls. That'll take care of most of the solids and the junk that you're gonna get. The skimmer itself has a debris screen inside there to keep out big junk. We recommend you take this debris screen out. There's not gonna be any big stuff in here and you're gonna have a pump that can handle anything that will pass through the hose. We recommend taking this out, otherwise you're gonna to have to clean it when it gets covered with leaves. So what we've got is 
the skimmer, the power supply, which is air, running off air brakes from the truck or an air compressor. We have the two inch air diaphragm pump, which you would need to pull suction from the skimmer, or maybe on your operation, you're gonna have the vac truck pulling suction. At any rate, in operation, this gets into water, lays down flat, turn it on, you're starting to skim oil. If you're in heavy oil, you can run it fast. If you're in light oil, or in fact, if you're in light oil or sheen, you want to run the drum slow. So, heavy oil, open it up, give it the gas. As fast as you can get it skimming, that's how much oil you're gonna get. But when you get down to light oil, we wanna start notching down the air drive. Slower is better. If you're dealing with sheen, and we've all been in a spot where, in a marina, we've seen spots where there's a rainbow of sheen. And everybody's experienced this. That rainbow of sheen, if you did this in the water, it breaks apart. It doesn't have any tensile strength like oil does. This will skim sheen. Sheen is the hardest part to deal with. This will skim sheen if, and only if, you run this very slow, so it's pulling it in without fracturing the sheen. When you've got more oil, run it up. When you have less oil, granny gear slow gets the job done, and this will give you good results. When you're skimming, what you have to do is make sure you're pumping, because when the skimmer is doing its job, 20 gallons of oil in one minute, it can fill this sump in less than a minute. And if this sump fills up, all of a sudden you have a lot of weight in here, and this floating skimmer is gonna turn into a submarine. When you're skimming, you have to be pumping all the time. It's a two-part operation. Skimming gets the oil off the water, fills the sump. The other part, and an important part, is you have to get the oil out of the sump. That's where you're using the pump or the vac truck to get this going. When you're skimming with the, this or any other skimmer, you're gonna be working downstream. You're gonna have containment boom. The containment boom is going to form a pocket. So if the current is coming to me, the containment boom is going to make a pocket. And where you want to put your skimmer is right here in the pocket. This skimmer has to be touching the oil in order to work. So if the oil has been dispersed or you have small bits of oil here or here or here or here, this is not gonna work. Let your oil pool up. And what's going to occur as the skimmer is attracting the oil to the surface, it's going to pull the oil into it as long as it's a contiguous mass of oil. We use this a lot in the steel industry. Certainly railroads use it in their railroad repair yards. Power plants just like this. The marine people use this. This is a world-class oil skimmer, the most efficient drum skimmer on earth. 20 gallons a minute. You can do this. We are Skim Oil. Give us a call if you have a problem, if you have questions. We'll be glad to work with you, glad to give you your answer.